Ni hao. I just got back from China and I spent the last week there. It was incredible and while I was there I was trying to film this, questions for Carly, while I was in Beijing and I had a minor technical difficulty because I only brought one camera chip. Long story short, I didn't finish my questions for Carly. So we're gonna do questions for Carly, jet lag edition. So I might be a little delirious, please excuse me. What's the longest flight you've ever been on? St. Louis to Dubai and about five stops in between. What is the thing you hate most about traveling? The only thing that I disliked about uh, being in China was that it was literally on the other side of the planet. So all of my family was going to bed as I was waking up. So I'd call them and say, good morning. And they'd say, good night. Do you enjoy dressing up or down when traveling? I love looking chic when I'm traveling, but I always bring a, like a pair of pajamas, basically. <laughs> What is the scariest thing that's happened to you on an airplane? I was on this flight once from Milan to London and the plane took off. We're about half an hour into the flight and the pilot comes onto the speaker and is like, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have a problem with the engine. We need to have an emergency landing. Uh, buckle up, we're turning around and going back to Milan. And I was like, what do you mean? There's a problem with the engine. Let's try this again. Ciao, Milano. What do you do to keep busy in a plane? And I hope you brought cookies with you. I always bring cookies with me. Absolutely. Um, I never trust airplane food. I think it's vegetables. I'm not really sure. What do you think is the best cure for jet lag? I think the best cure for me is going for a run or breaking a sweat. It is 8.30 in China and I'm watching Sunday Night Football back in New York. How do you fit your legs in squeezy airplane seats? Yeah. Did you find your favorite food? I really tried to be as adventurous as possible. I love dim sum. Oh, and then I had this really good like dessert dim sum that was the dough and like a sesame paste inside. It was really sweet and really delicious. Would you rather travel back in time to meet your ancestors or forward to meet your future relatives? Ooh, that's a good question. Travel forward just because I want to know what the future's like. Do you prefer aisle seat or the window seat? Aisle. Wait, no. Window. When traveling to foreign countries like China, do you try new exotic foods and herbal medicines? While I was in Shanghai, I had the chance to sit down and learn how to have a proper cup of tea. How the tea leaves are picked, how they're rolled, how to actually pour a cup of tea. In China, it's truly an art form. How old were you when you first got on an airplane alone? I think I was around 16. Even now at 23, I don't like to fly by myself. I prefer to have my mom with me. Have you gotten any good souvenirs? Yes, this being one of them. They had like the most amazing gowns. Some of my favorite souvenirs I got on this trip were gifts from people that I met over there, like really nice handwritten notes and pictures and I made lots of friends while I was there. They made at perfect time cookies. I didn't know how to say thank you to everyone. I, I couldn't believe it, so thank you for anyone who's watching uh, who made my stay in China so wonderful. I wanted to say goodbye in Mandarin, but my Mandarin's not quite there yet, so. While these cookies are in the oven, I'm going to explain why I'm such a crazy cookie lady and I love baking so much. 